There we go. <clears throat> and you basically have. <clears throat> Yeah, you, you, you pour your sauce over the top of the bread. So your bread is all back together. Everything's like a little sandwich. Do we put it in the oven? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, you put the top back on, and then you pour that over the top. Yes, good job. So once you're done with... What's that? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That happens. It's all good. That's all good. So once you're done and you put it on the Okay. So what you're going to do, <clears throat> once you cover it with foil, you're going to set it to the side for 10 minutes. We're not going to put it in the oven yet, okay? <clears throat> set it to the side for 10 minutes, okay? I have a timer going on mine, but you just set it to the side for 10 minutes. <clears throat> and what you're doing is you're letting the, the sauce that you made, you're letting it kind of soak into the bread, okay? So after 10 minutes, then we'll put it in the oven. We'll get to that in just a minute. Kind of watching, everybody's kind of doing good. Everybody's kind of at the same spot. I got about six more minutes ish all right so again you go through mix your sauce put your tops back on your bread on your sandwiches and pour your sauce over that and let it sit cover it with foil and let it sit for 10 minutes again like you say you're, you're just letting the sauce kind of soak into the bread <clears throat> so when you bake it, it it tastes you get that flavor you get that taste you don't just get bread you get kind of the the sauce that you made which you all did amazing on, I'm sure. All right, we got. right, I've got six minutes left, so we'll give it a moment here. All right, so while we're waiting, we can start working on our cookies. So once you've got everything covered and you've got your, your take about, about 10 minutes, it says. I mean, if you let it go a little longer, it's probably okay, but you don't want it to go too long because you don't want your bread to get too soggy before you bake it in the oven, okay? All right, so... We're gonna start on our cookies. We may have to stop in a minute and throw our bread, our sandwich in the oven, but we got a little bit of time. All right. Get my bowl. All right. So for this, I've got a bowl. I just grabbed this one. I don't know if it's too big. I'm not sure. All right. We're gonna start. We have one cup. <clears throat> excuse me, of rolled oats. Basically, oatmeal. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. It's oatmeal. Okay. All right. So we have one cup. Uh, I've got just this. It's old-fashioned oats. So I've got that. I've already <clears throat> have my measuring cup. One cup of oats? One cup. Okay. So I've already got mine measured out. So I'm going to take my one cup and I'm going to add it to my bowl. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. Next, I need one half of a cup of creamy peanut butter. So, I have my wonderful cream. I think crunchy's better, but I don't get a say in my house. I have to have creamy. Oh, it's not so open. You have one cup of the oats. Do you put it in a bowl? Yes. Yeah, so I just I put it in a bowl. It's like a bowl like this is what I put. It may be too big. I'm not sure. But and what do you do? Okay. So, you just pour that in. Next, you're going to get one half of a cup of creamy peanut butter. Um, I would probably stick close to the half a cup because you don't want it because if you get it too much, it'll, it'll be really strong. How much do we have to add of peanut butter? One half of a cup. Okay, one half cup. So I have my one tells me here is one half of a cup. You got Pluto. Uh-huh. All right, guys. That's All right, so you're going to take one half. Everybody doing good? Um, no. What's up? 
Right, I have, or if it didn't fall out, one half of a cup of my peanut butter. I don't have peanut butter. Uh-oh. Well, again, you can use, like Ms. Blackman said earlier, she's asked, somebody asked about it, you don't have to use peanut butter. You can use, like, Nutella or almond butter or anything like that. You can kind of a... Uh, Okay, we're getting there. You're, 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 you're getting ahead of me here, get it, girl. All right, so once I've got my peanut butter added to my oats. All right, next, I'm gonna get one fourth of a cup of chocolate chips. So we got, I'll show you, I'll grab it here. We did just the, you can use Simma Sweet, you can use Minis. We just got regular, regular size chocolate, milk chocolate chips. And again, I've measured mine out. Hold on, come. All right, so I have half of a cup. And if you wanna add a little bit more because you like chocolate chips, you could probably go a little more. I wouldn't go too much more, but you could add those. So you're gonna dump those just right in your... One half of a cup. So a half a cup. I said, you can do a little bit more if you want, but I wouldn't go too much more because then you're consistent. Your, your cookies may not hold together as well, okay? All right, oops, that's a fourth. That's good. All right, all right. Mix it in the bowl, put it in the bowl. Yep, we're putting all this in one bowl, all right? All right, next up on our list. Close the cabinet door. Hmm? Close the cabinet door. Mix it up. Um, if you want, we've got a couple more things we're gonna add, okay? We've got just a couple more things, okay? <clears throat> we're not there yet, we're almost there. Next up, it's uh, one tablespoon of maple syrup. So I just have just a regular like pancake syrup. There's my tablespoon. All right, so we're gonna do one tablespoon of the syrup. You're just gonna pour that in your bowl. Like everything else, you're just gonna add it to your bowl. Let me use that. You're just gonna add that to your bowl, okay? All right, so, so far I've got my oats, I've got my peanut butter, I've got my chocolate chips, and I've got my maple syrup. I've got one more thing. And that is my vanilla, all right? Yep, you add it to the bowl, yes. So everything is in one bowl so far. This is all one bowl. Pretty cool. All right, so I have one fourth of a teaspoon, okay? It's very small, very just a little bitty bit. Vanilla is very strong, so you don't need a whole lot of vanilla. So I have one fourth of a teaspoon. Yeah, very small amount, because it's very, the vanilla is very strong flavoring. Sorry guys, all right. So you're gonna add that to the bowl as well, okay? So all your ingredients for these cookies are in one bowl, okay? Is all right. this good? Okay, let's see. Is that good if it's one fourth of a teaspoon, sure. Yeah, it looks good to me from where I'm at. All right guys, so I'm gonna, Take a step back here a second. My timer went off. Yours may not have yet. So on our, we're gonna go back to my sandwiches really quick, okay? I've let them sit for 10 minutes. What you're gonna do now. All right, I'm gonna take them. I've got them all covered. I've got them all with foil on my sandwiches. And I'm gonna put them in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. So we've, my timer went off, my sandwiches sat for 10 minutes. I put them in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. I set a timer, so we're gonna let those cook and they're gonna be yummy. All right, so we're gonna jump back to our cookies. Everything's in my bowl. My peanut butter, my oats, my little chocolate chips, vanilla, maple syrup, everything. Add just a little bit of salt, just a little bit. 
It says a pinch, but I would just add just a, not a whole lot at all. It's just for just a little bit of extra flavoring. So I mean, just a very tiny, tiny amount of salt. All right. And then we're gonna mix everybody together. So in your bowl, you're gonna mix everything up. I'm gonna have to add my chocolate chips to mine. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure everything, all your oats are mixed in. Make sure everything is mixed in really good. fun part I think we're gonna have to get our hands dirty here guys this is fun all right <coughs> excuse me guys so what you're gonna do once you have it all mixed together I can kind of show you mine here in a second and so mine is kind of just a big gloppy mess here thing you're gonna take just little small pieces actually I'll show you real quick you're gonna get, I've got a cookie sheet or a, a, a sheet pan here. You're gonna either put foil on it, wax paper, something kind of like a, I call parchment paper, but like wax paper, okay? Put it on your pan and you're gonna take these and you're gonna make just little small, just grab little bits of it and you're gonna form it into like a ball in your hand. So you're just gonna make. Do we cover the bottom with foil? Yes, foil or like a wax paper, parchment paper, or something like that. Yes. As you can see, you're gonna take them by handful. And you're just gonna make just a little small ball. Okay. And you're just gonna put it on your cookie sheet. I'm dropping it all over the computer. <laughs> all right. So you're gonna do that with all of your dough. You're gonna make them. You don't want it to be too big because I mean you don't you want to have enough for people, but you don't want it to be small, but okay. So maybe nope. <laughs> this, I'm dropping this guys. Just kind of a small. And you're just gonna put them on your cookie sheet. Separate them a little bit so they're not touching. So they maybe had an inch apart. Okay. We need all these done, got all these made. Here we go. In the oven. So you're gonna have your, your oven at 350 degrees and you're gonna put them in for 10 minutes. You need more peanut butter? Yeah. All right. Um, do we yeah. Sew, sew yes. No, nope, you don't put these in the oven, okay? <laughs> on the cookies, that's the cool part about your cookies. Once you have all your cookies made, either your cookie sheet is full or you run out of cookie dough that you have, the dough, well, it's not really a dough, but your cookies that you made, mm -hmm. you're gonna put them on your cookie sheet. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to put them in the oven. Uh, no, see, you got me thinking that. You're gonna put them in the refrigerator, okay? Wow. You're gonna put them in for 30 minutes or so. What you want them to do is you want them to get kind of cold and you want them to get kind of solid, okay? So you don't have to cook these at all. These don't go in the oven at all, okay? Uh -oh. So with your cookies, once you make them into a little ball and you make them, make them a little ball and put them on your cookie sheet, you put them in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes or so and you're done with them. You let them get kind of harder a little bit, kind of stiffen up a little bit harder so when you pick them up, they don't fall apart. And you're good to go on those. Those are done. So I've got a couple more minutes on my sandwiches. Again, once you once your sandwiches sit for 10 minutes, you put them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. And let me put my page back over. All right. So you're gonna so basically you're kind of watching them 
keep an eye on them. You're wanting your cheese to melt is what you're basically doing, okay? The cookies, the cookies don't go in the oven, no. The cookies, like I said, you make them into a ball. You put them on your cookie sheet, so I can show you a couple of mine. Mine kind of weren't doing real well. So I've got a couple of mine on my sheet here, okay? So you're just gonna make them into a little ball, put them on your sheet, cookie sheet, and those are gonna go in the refrigerator. Okay, you're gonna put those in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes or so. You're basically wanting them, like I say, you're wanting them to kind of cool off a little bit and kind of get a little bit more solid. You want the peanut butter and all the thing to kind of get together and so it don't fall, so it doesn't fall apart. All right, guys? All right, we're just kind of waiting right now. We got a couple of minutes for our sandwiches. They've been in the oven. <clears throat> so after you cook your sandwiches for 10 minutes, you are going to take the foil off of them, make sure they're okay, and you're gonna cook them for about two more minutes after you take the foil off, all right? So you put them in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. At that point, you take the foil off the top of it, and then you cook them for about two more minutes. So we're just kind of giving that a minute. I've got... My timer says three more minutes for my sandwiches. Yours may be a little longer. It's fine, though. You're doing a great job, guys. And your cookies, like I say, once you make them into a little ball, put them on your cookie sheet, put those in the refrigerator. Give them about 30 minutes or so. Basically, while you eat, while you're eating your sandwiches and such, your cookies are getting ready to have for dessert. And that's what I got for you guys today. So I'll tell you what, I have a little friend beside me here in my kitchen. We're going to try and see if we can see him while we're uh, waiting. Let's walk over and see. Hang on, let's see if I can pick this up here. Let's see. Hold on, guys. Hold on, let me see. All right, hold on. I'm going to move a couple of things, guys, here. Hold on a second. Let's see if I can get my hand here. friend stays with me in the kitchen. He helps me cook every now and again. Hey, Jar Jar. Oh, I think you moving, right? Hey, Jar Jar. Spin the camera around, okay? Hang on, guys. You ready? Here it comes. Hey, buddy. Hey, Jar Jar. Hey, Jar Jar. There's one of our other snakes, guys. This is Jar Jar. He's a uh, ball python also. But this is, this is Keith's snake. He's a... Uh, the difference between him and the big one that you saw the other day is his colors are lighter. His colors are lighter. So since he was here, we thought we'd show him to you while we were waiting on our sandwiches. Hey, buddy. You, you can see he's curled up in a ball right now. Being that he ate this past weekend, we really don't want to mess with him right now, especially balled up like that because he doesn't have a chance to ball up himself and protect himself. So, we just thought we'd show you that. All right, we're going to put him back to bed. I'm back, guys. All right. One second, I'll put... I'll do it in a second. All right, guys. Drop the camera. Miss Black has computer. Don't do that. Wash your hands. All right. Give me one second, guys. I got to wash my hands off real fast because... Oh. All right, guys, I've got, so we did it just right. I got 10 seconds on my sandwiches in the oven. All right, let's see how we're doing here, guys. <clears throat> All right, hang on, guys, here I come. Let's see how my sandwiches look. Else. <clears throat> All right, guys. So mine just came out of the oven. <clears throat> Most of my sauce is kind of baked into the bread. You can kind of see it. <clears throat> so 
So what I'm gonna do, <coughs> excuse me guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these, I kind of look at the sides of them, my cheese is melted, which is what you want. So I'm gonna put these back in the oven after I've uncovered them. I'm gonna put them back in the oven for about two more minutes. And what that's doing, that's kind of trying to bake the top of them a little bit more, kind of get the tops a little bit brown, kind of toast it a little bit, if you want to say. And... So I'm not going to set my timer. I'm trying to keep an eye on my time for those. All right, guys, <clears throat> that's it. When we put them back in the oven, do we put them for 10 minutes again? Now, you only do about two minutes. My, my recipe says two minutes. Keep an eye on them because what you're wanting to do is you're just wanting to kind of toast the top of the bread a little bit, okay? They're already pretty much cooked because they've already gone for 10 minutes, and you're just basically melting the cheese and kind of getting that, that sauce kind of cooked into the bread. So now you only do, only do about two or three minutes after you take the foil off and put them back in. Just do about two or three more minutes, all right, guys? Okay, thank you. I hope you guys had fun. I had a fun time. Hey, there's Miss Blackman. Sweet. Hey, guys. So, I just had the day off. Thank goodness I didn't have to cook lunch for everybody. Somebody else got to do it today. I hope you enjoyed Mr. Blackman showing you. Um, yes, his, his snake Jar Jar lives on the... We've got a, a bar area, and he actually sits on the bar right outside the kitchen. Um, but I hope you enjoyed learning from him. I hope you enjoy your sandwiches. Is everybody doing all right? Looks good. Some of the ones I'm seeing look really good. Oh, we got a fish that lives there. Yeah. All right. Yes, we will do about five minutes. Okay, so remember tomorrow you need to come back um, so we can do attendance. We'll do about a five to ten minute scavenger hunt and then I'll let you go because you have your national play day and Coach Garcia sent you some information about that so you can do play day. All right? All right, guys, it's almost time for ELA. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off and send you to ELA. Make sure some of you send me pictures. Make sure some of you send me pictures so I can see what you made, okay? Bye, guys. Anna Paula, I got you. Bye. Y'all have a great day. Send me pictures. <laughs>